Now, I've been waiting a long time for this. Ever since before I've been doing these apps reviews, there's one car out there that I really am so hyped about. Now, you know how much I love small cars and no other small car is more hyped than this one right here. I actually got it in my pocket here. <laughs> That's right. This is what we're gonna review today. Just kidding. This is just a small scale model of it. I've been having this for a few years now. This is the Suzuki Jimny. It's been out for a couple of years now, but the hype hasn't died down. So good luck finding one. And we've got it here today. What's going on guys? Roy Robles here from Zigwheels.ph and we'll be reviewing a car that makes absolutely no sense at all, but everyone loves and is a hell of a drive. This is the Suzuki Jimny All Grip 4x4. So starting with the front end of the Suzuki Jimny or G-Money if you're fancy is the classic and iconic five hole front grille with honeycomb inserts. Now you got your front end here, your badge, the Suzuki S badge. It's really in your face and you're proud to be bringing this Suzuki Jimny around town or even off-roading. Now, so it's not gonna be a Suzuki Jimny without those circular headlamps. Those are full LED headlamps. They look classic, they look old school, but trust me, at night, they're really bright. And right below here, your lower grille also has those honeycomb inserts, giving it a sporty, more off-road, more macho appeal. Now, the overall look of the Suzuki Jimny is flat, angular, and boxy, and it's proud to be doing so. Now, another thing that I love with the Suzuki Jimny here are these headlamp washers. So you know that the Suzuki Jimny is not afraid to get dirty, and at the same time, cool as well. Now, heading over to the side profile of the Suzuki Jimny, you'd find more of that boxy theme going on. You got your boxy over fenders, your boxy windows right here, as well as angular side windows for the front passengers. Now, here's a little bit of Easter eggs you can find here in the Suzuki Jimny. You'd notice these slats right here on the hood. Those are actually found on older Jimny models in the 80s and even the early 90s. And you find it making a comeback here in the Suzuki Jimny. Now again, as you notice on the side profile here, you won't see much of the overhangs in the front and the rear as well. It's because it has great off-roading capability. If you have longer overhangs, you definitely won't be able to bring the Suzuki Jimny off-road, especially going down or up a hill. In this case right here, none of that at all. Now paired with those short overhangs, you've got a 210 millimeter ground clearance and all-terrain tires right here. So out of the box, you're good to go. So for this two-tone trim, this is the top of the line model. You got a black roof, as well as this functional rain gutters right here. Because this is a boxy vehicle and you don't want to get rain all around your car flooding up the top. So you got these rain gutters here. So if you want your Suzuki Jimny to be as aerodynamic as other cars, forget about it. This is all about the off-road, baby. Now the Suzuki Jimny is both cool looking and functional as well. Check out these doors. These doors open up to almost at a 90 degree angle and they're awfully thin. That doesn't help out with NVH at all, but at least you get more space inside. And if you're talking about a Suzuki Jimny, who cares about NVH? Check out the back. Gives you a lot more of that retro old school vibe with, <laughs> with a spare tire mounted to the rear and the doors opening it up sideways. Now these days, hatchbacks and crossover SUVs doors actually open up vertically instead of sideways to give you a lot more space. But since this is a Jimny and the Jimny doesn't care about all that, it's gonna give you those old school doors. So since we have the doors open anyway, let me take a look at the inside. As you can see, I had the rear seats folded down. You can actually fit four people inside, but I choose not to think about that. From what we can see, Suzuki actually has the rear seats with these black hard plastics for the rear, and it's meant to be folded down, in my opinion, at least. You can see this really flat floor. You got a lot of space inside. So any of your friends want to hitch on a joyride and the Suzuki Jimny, you tell them no, because you have your significant other in the front and no one else in the back. You can fit a week's worth of groceries here and then some, but apart from that, no friends. This is gonna be your personal car. All right, let's check out more details about the rear exterior of the uh, Suzuki Jimny. For me, what you can see here, you've got your tail lamps on the side and lower right there. Usually you would have them 
right here up top, but they chose to have it at the bottom, probably because you want to take this off-road and on the way you'd be encountering some foggy weather. So having those tail lamps lower gives you better visibility on the road, especially during foggy or rainy weather. Now looking underneath there, you'd actually see the differential here at the rear. Because that's because the Suzuki Jimny is definitely meant for off-road. If you're thinking that you're going to have a smooth, relaxing drive of the Jimny, you could probably can on a smooth enough road. But this thing is meant to go off-road despite its size. This is ready to fight, guys. All right, so inside the Suzuki Jimny, you'd be greeted to this rugged, off-roady kind of macho dashboard here. I really have to say, <laughs> this is very surprising and really fits the bill of an off-roader. You got your large analog kind of amber looking gauge cluster right here where you can find all your information that you need, including this small information screen where you can find your kilometers per liter, your fuel consumption, your trip meter and all that. Nothing right here gives you more than the, inf the information that you actually need, which definitely is very off-roady, very macho and very utilitarian, I gotta say. Now you've got your automatic climate control here with a nice digital screen in the middle that gives you the status of the HVAC or the AC system. And here's what I love about cars. I love what I love about cars is that you have switches that aren't actually blank. Right below that, you've got your traction control button, your hill descent button, and your two roll down window controls. Of course, the drivers is automatic, but the passengers will have to hold that switch. No problems. Right below that, you've got your four speed automatic transmission. There's your regular PRND. 2 and L for low gear. But speaking of low gear, you can also find your transfer case right here at the bottom. Like I said, this is a legit off-roading machine, so you can set it to 4L or 4H, but let's keep it at 2H because we want to take this out on the road. It's a great place to be in. You got your leather steering wheel, which is adjustable, by the way, for rake only and not reach, so it only goes up and down and it doesn't push forward or back. You also have this touchscreen infotainment system, by the way, which does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It also has this clinometer here. Just click on car info. You can find your altimeter, your altitude, your barometer. You never know it's gonna rain. <laughs> All right, so I've been dreading this moment. I know everyone wants to know if I can actually fit myself in the back. So we're gonna give that a try. This one's for you guys. All right, so we had to do it. We had to check the rear seats but the only thing that's difficult about these seats right here is actually getting in here. So what you need to do is slide the front seats forward, tilt them forward, and then squeeze yourself in. But once you're here, there's a surprising amount of room here. Headroom in particular is great. Uh, you can actually just lounge right here, no problems. These seats are reclinable, but this is not going to be the best place here inside, especially with the type of suspension this has. You're not going to be comfortable here in the back. Our legs, our knees are way up. You don't have any place to rest your arms in, but you do have a grab handle at least, so you got that going. But at least you do have a 12 volt socket in the back, so if you need to put uh, USB ports or chargers, you can always do so. So if you do want to get out of here, you'll have to ask the front passengers nicely because un unless you can fit your hand down there, no, that's not going to happen. Please get me out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Freedom! All right, so we're behind the wheel of the Suzuki Jimny All Grip 4x4. So I want to talk about that engine. I know I keep saying that this is a legit off-road vehicle, but a lot of doubters out there will say, oh no, that's too, too weak, the engine's too small. You don't need power when it comes to off-roading. Well, you need grip. That's everything that you need. Grip, good departure and approach angles, and the Suzuki Jimny has that in spades. Under the hood, you've got a 1.5 liter naturally aspirated engine that makes 103 horsepower and 130 newton meters of torque. Considering that you have a small vehicle right here, that's plenty of power to go by. Now, what gives it the secret sauce is the all grip 4x4 system. So what the all grip 
plus all-wheel drive system is is that it enables this tiny little Jimny to be the off-roading monster that it is. So right now we actually are running on 2H. That's right, so that means the front wheels are the ones that's spinning, but all you need to do is set it to park and then put it down to 4H or 4L depending on the situation that you're in. So the drive, you've got a four-speed automatic transmission that's mated to that engine. So that four-speed automatic definitely is just the bare minimum that can get you off the line. You won't be reaching three-digit speeds here, especially in the city, but once you open up on the highway, it's definitely possible. It's just going to be a lot of noise. NVH is not the Suzuki Jimny strong suit. So you can definitely hear a lot of noise. This is no luxury car, guys. It's an off-roading machine. So Suzuki's old school formula here peaks its head with the steering. The steering, instead of a regular rack and pinion one that's usually found in more modern cars, it still has the recirculating ball type. The reason behind that is that this is actually more durable than those rack and pinions. So it's not gonna be the most direct, it doesn't give you the most road feel, but at least you know it's going to survive the tortures of being off-road. Suspension wise, you've got axles in the front and on the rear. No McPherson struts here, because again, those axles are much more durable, especially under pressure when you're off-roading. Now I know what you're thinking and saying, I could probably live with a small space or the rough ride, and I can definitely daily this car, right? It's a small car, it's a small 1.5 liter engine. But the thing is, when it comes to fuel economy, you're not gonna get those double digits on a city. So in the city, you'll be lucky if you get around eight kilometers per liters. Seven is more of its sweet spot. And on the highway, 13 to 14 kilometers per liter. The reason behind that, again, is the four wheel drive system. Now, again, this mostly runs the front wheels, but you still have a lot of power loss, especially when it comes to the four speed automatic transmission and the live axles right there up front and then on the rear. It's probably one of the reasons why you got worse fuel economy that you can get. Well, if you want to daily this, good for you, more power to you. But this is more of a weekend car. It's a really fun car to drive. And I gotta say, if you want this car to remain as special as it is, I really think that you should rethink this as a daily, and more of a uh, weekend fun car, more of like a getaway car to me. So for safety, you've got your dual front airbags, you've got ABS with the electronic brake force distribution, you've got hill descent control, you also have stability control, a rear camera, and rear parking sensors. Apart from that, nothing else. Being an off-roading car, it would have been great if this had a 360 degree camera so that you can actually see the outside uh, and uh, if you're going through over a rut. But like I said, it's a small car. You can just simply look out the window, look out the sides and you can see them. I'm just saying it's something that's nice to have, probably for future iterations. Right, so pricing for the Jimny starts at 1,170,000 pesos for the manual. But if you want this top of the line two-tone model with all the safety features that I've mentioned earlier, and of course, the nice body kit right there, everything, that's 1,285,000 pesos. Now with that price, you have to ask yourself, if you're in the market for a small SUV that you could probably want to bring the family around with, or do some groceries in you know, daily tasks. 1,285,000 pesos might be too high for you because this isn't a car that's used for that. The Jimny is actually more of a fun activity vehicle. It's a purpose-built vehicle for one purpose, actually. It's there to look cool and, of course, go off-roading if you're really into that. So, do I mind that everything is made out of plastic? or that you can barely fit four people inside and it's really small and for a small car with a small engine, it's not that fuel efficient or rides rough. No, actually no. You can go ahead and check out other models out there. You will not be able to find a comparable vehicle to the Jimny. Other cars might be better equipped. Other cars might be has better safety, better space, but you won't find something that has this much character and personality try but you will never succeed 
So there you have it, folks. It's the Suzuki Jimny All Grip 4x4. Now, there are a lot of things I love about it. It's a great, fun machine, but I've got to be real with you. So here are the three things I don't like and I love about this car. Sort of thing is that price, topping off at 1,285,000 pesos, not including dealership markup. It definitely is a difficult, bitter pill to swallow, especially for what you're getting. This is still a really small car for that price. The interior amenities. I mean, what interior amenities? You barely have any space for four people inside. So this is best left to being a two-seater car. Third is the suspension. It's definitely hard. You, it will be difficult for you to daily this vehicle without having to readjust your back every now and then. But enough of the negatives here, the things that I really love of the Suzuki Jimny. First of all, the way it looks. I know that Suzuki is going for the Neo retro look for this car, and it absolutely nails it. The boxy looks, those over fenders, the wheels, everything really fills in together. And once you see this in the metal, it would definitely take your breath away. Second of all, it's this performance when it comes to off-roading. It might not look like it. It looks like a cute little machine, but it's got a 37 degree approach angle, 49 degree departure angle, and a 28 degree breakover angle, which makes it a great off-roading machine. Again, with the 1.5 liter naturally aspirated engine, it might not make much. It might not be good on the road, but once you take it off it, it's just really capable off-road machine. Third is the resale value. Even the previous generation Jimny actually holds up quite well, even after a few years in the market. Now this thing right here, it was first released in 2018, but up to now the hype hasn't died down. Good luck with getting reservations with a Suzuki Jimny. But speaking of reservations, if you want to get the best chance of getting a Suzuki Jimny at the lowest possible price, head on over to zigwheels.ph and search for the Suzuki Jimny today. And while you're at it, leave us a comment in the comment section down below and let me know if you really love or hate the Suzuki Jimny and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification icon so you won't miss any of our videos. This is Roy Robles from ZigWheels.ph and I'll see you guys next time.